Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on 42 Doug sending a message through Instagram from the feds right now where he's still serving time for the arrest that he went in on last year for not turning himself in on a scheduled date, which originally came from him being caught on camera at a gun range, which they say that they received a tip from in 2019, but didn't get picked up until 2020 from that. And he not supposed to be in possession of firearms like that in the public and everything because he has a convicted felon record from back in the day. But he been going through it right now. We just seen different things going on with his case. And it was kind of tricky because they said he was supposed to turn himself in, didn't turn himself in because he did have a set date or something at first to my understanding. Then we see recently, early this year, that he was now facing five years for not turning himself in. But now he didn't gave another update and sent this out there. Let me update y'all on what's really going on. ATL U.S. Marshals trying to keep me from going home. I supposed to got out October 14th of last year. They legally held me without reasoning because they felt my federal judge in Detroit shouldn't have gave me a bond. I let that slide. Then after I got sentenced, one of tell me he not sending me to a prison. He gonna make me do time in a county jail, which is 10 times worse. Then he had the nerve to tell me he knows where I live because his people sold me one of my houses. So now I supposed to have court today for all case, the U.S. Marshals then told the jail don't let me on Zoom to handle the case so I can't possibly go to the halfway house. But these motherfuckers sending all kind of guards to talk to me, seeing if I'm going to ask for something. The crazy thing is they putting me on game. They telling me the marshals trying to ruin your life. They don't want you going home. They haven't even submitted my paperwork for me to receive my outdate and calculate my days. I need the best civil lawyer in Georgia, man. I'm in jail for going to the gun range, dropping dirty and failure to appear. I didn't steal from nobody, hurt nobody. They handling me crazy. Man, I'm in this bitch heating my food up with the water from the nasty ass shower. They don't even give us hot water to heat our food up. Ain't no microwave. I can't get no business from my family, nothing. I'm sure they gonna do some more illegal shit, but what I'm supposed to do, die in this bitch? For, probate, for probation violation, I don't know what they got against rappers and famous people, but this shit can't be real. What's crazy is I missed my turn end date by two and a half weeks and had a new indictment, LOL. But somehow they haven't submitted my sentence to the BOP in three weeks. How that work? And these people, and these the people in control of our lives when we catch a federal case. They can manipulate this shit however they want to. I'm not even from down here, bruh. Like, why y'all looking into where I live while I'm in jail? This ain't no police from traffic unit. These people is federal U.S. Marshals, bruh. Making sure they stand on a nigga. I'm in this bitch using water from a nasty ass, ass shower to heat up my food up. There's no microwave, no hot water, no clean water. This ain't how this shit go. I'm telling y'all. Just show me the best civil lawyer, man. And what's crazy is, man, I did an interview with Mr. Lucci up out of Dallas. Shout out to my boy Lucci. And he told me how the federal thing going out there in Georgia and Atlanta and everything. That is real. Like, it's real disgusting in there. Saying that niggas be having to use draws that other niggas had. He say it's real terrible out there in that Atlanta situation, the Georgia situation, or the feds and everything like that. Definitely don't want to go to Atlanta, nigga. Atlanta is some shit, dog. I don't even know how that hoe's still open, bro. That's the shittiest prison on earth, bro. No shit. Shittiest, you know what I mean? The camp boom hard, you know, they get to kick it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they kick it over there, but that USP port and where they, where they transfer you at, man. And for 4 2 Doug, man, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I'm glad he's speaking out and he's telling the real because niggas can see how it really go. They not gonna play fair. And you better believe, nigga, that some units, when you touch down now, they gonna give you a hard time because you're a superstar. Some of these wardens or the niggas that's over the jails, 
They look at rappers like, I despise of you, nigga. I want to make your time hard, nigga. That's how they be doing this. They don't care about you heating up your food and the, having the clean water, the shower water is nasty. Everybody else in there going to be going through the same thing, and they going to feel like, hey, nigga, you ain't privileged because you here. We just seen how Fulton County Jail go where they just lost the inmate out there that they actually just neglected and left for dead, basically, and everything. And it's real. Now, 4 2 Doug is able to put a light on it, but this is why I say we got to do our best to stay up out these situations, not fall into that modern day slavery system that they have for niggas. We are the most locked up when it comes to these institutions, federal prisons, and everything like that in America. That's because the transition from slavery went over the prison to actually lease niggas out for work. We have the laws, we understand the laws of the game. And I know some niggas bo are born in the streets, born in the environment, but you understand when you break the law, you do wrong, they gonna take you down through there, bro. So we gotta do our best to transition out this situation, bro. That's just what it is at this point in time. 42 Doug was able to get up out that lifestyle, that culture, go into the music business, and sometimes your past gonna come up and catch up to you. You got to do your best out here, man. Get your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit right and elevate over the nonsense and just know they always looking to catch you fucking up. That's just how the game go. Top rappers in the game, one of the biggest singles with Future, Maybach going crazy, still in the club. And it sucks that he ain't out here to really receive that. And true, he wasn't hurt nobody, wasn't killing nobody, got caught on camera, somebody tipped him, going to the gun range. And I do agree with what he's saying on that. Hey fam, I had the gun, but I wasn't shooting at nobody, wasn't hurt nobody, but this is how it worked, bro. If they can lock you up, they gon' they can, they will. That's what they do. Tell me what y'all think, man. Photo Doug should be coming home pretty soon. He's just trying to get the release date. Get everything he owed, but they gonna give niggas a hard time, man. One thousand for shit show. Stay on your pivot. More coming.